What's up, Cotton Nation? King Cotton 9000 here with a video for y'all today. Today is the 2nd of January, and it's 2023, so what's a bad time to start 2023 with a collection update on my PlayStation 5? You already see one of the stacks, and a little bit of the other one there. So as you can tell, as a thumbnail, that's a lot of games. Most of them, I completed if you want to see the games I have completed on PS5. Go check out my uh, 2022 recap uh, video game review. Follow the games I have completed on PS5, PS4, and PS3. Switch, I already had those completed. So go check out that video if you want to see which ones I completed. Or I could talk about the ones I have completed in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Got my PS5 on the background to get like a little background image. And uh, for PS5, still got the regular white controller and the God of War Ragnarok controller. Still got both of them. Let's have a nice background. There we go. So let's start with the first game. First game is Assassin's Creed Baja. I played most of this on PS4 and I am playing on PS5 a lot more since the DLC, Ragnarok. I've been loving Assassin's Creed Baja ever since. Still trying to complete the full thing, but it'll take a while. But I really enjoy Baja on PS5. More than I do on PS4. If y'all haven't played Valhalla or got arrested DLC, go try it out. It's probably better on PS5. I do got my PS5 right here in the thumbnail. Love my PS5 to this day. Next up, we got Battlefield 2042. Not really the greatest, but it's 10 bucks on GameFi, so I had to get a physical to show. In the collection, it was just going to the collection, anyways. I played the demo of it and I played a few matches on PS5, not the greatest. Next up, we got Blood Rain Betrayal Fresh Bites. Y'all saw I was talking about this before, and excellent game trying to get the rest of Blood Rain, but this is a side scroller and. Got from Love to Run. Not, well, eBay, but from Love to Run. Next up, we got Call of Duty Vanguard. Not the greatest Call of Duty, but my first one played on PS5. Still got to get the rest of the Call of Duty's are on PS5. But this one, really good with the graphics and like the story. And y'all will see this in the video. Of uh, the games I completed, and also this one, my favorite Call of Duty uh, 2022 is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is absolutely amazing graphics, story, multiplayer, ain't everything about this game is absolutely amazing. So, yeah. I really enjoy this and I've been playing Warzone 2 and a lot of multiplayer, so definitely been enjoying this a lot. Next up we got Callisto Protocol, a great sci-fi horror game. Before you play Dead Space, if you have not played this, you're missing out. I enjoyed this a lot. And a lot of people have mixed reviews, but I really enjoyed it. A lot with story, the weapons, the enemies, everything about it was absolutely amazing. It's actually just grab a stack each time. This one just got just in case my little cousins come around or young, so I got collateral 
damaged, we meowstered for when I come around and just they see me playing this game and they're not like old enough to play video games just yet. They're only like under the age of five, so not yet. But this will be a fun game for them. Uh, Chivalry 2, not my cup of tea, but played when it was still, like, good. Then, uh, I just start falling out of it, just started not getting interested anymore. But Chivalry 2, very interesting online game, and you can play with your friends. And, yeah, that's all I can really say about it. Next up, we got Death Door. Play this on Xbox. So, when I saw Target doing it, I just had to buy physical. Since I missed uh, uh, Special Reserve Games pre order, so I got on there. Next up, we got Death Loop. Y'all know how much I rage at this game, and uh, I won't go back to it for a long time. Next up, we got Death Stranding, Director's Cut. I just had to have this because I love Death Stranding and the second one's coming out. So, this is absolutely perfect. On um, PS5, way more detail. And I have went back, played all of it to compare. I'm probably going to go back and beat it again on PS5. Because I love Norman Reedus' character in Death Stranding. Next up, we got Duero's The Moon. Played this one. And it comes with a lot of other stuff. And uh, pre-orders on Amazon. We got the sequel, Duero's Mars. is the sequel to this. Really can't wait, and I enjoyed this. So I'll definitely enjoy the sequel to it. Alright, let's get another... Big stack of games. <laughs> Demon Souls, the first ever one. I'm going to say every update. First ever one I have played on PlayStation 5. This is the absolute greatest remake of Demon Souls of all time. When this came around, I just put on my PS5. Couldn't stop playing this game. It's just that well detailed. Like, look at the back. So well detailed. Can't get over it. And uh, next up, Destruction All Stars. It was only a 20 hour game. That was free for PlayStation Plus. Didn't care for it. When it went down to like 10 bucks, I went ahead and picked it up. Just to put it in the collection, that's so I can say I own it and I played it on my PS5. But not, it can't be Twisted Mel. Not, nothing beats Twisted Mel. Not even that. Next up, we got Don't Make Cry 5 Special Edition. Performance mode on this <sighs> makes a whole new game from compared to PS4 Special Edition. Absolutely gorgeous graphics and makes the fighting a lot better because uh, you see a lot more like uh, your abilities being used in that game a lot more. Next up, we got Doki 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 Ledger Club Plus on PS5. So it's on Game Five and so you know I saw it. I just had to uh, pick up and it comes with a lot of the other stuff like the card, the rest of the stuff, little stickers, care less about that. But playing the game, still can't believe it's just actually a horror game to this day. It's weird, but very interesting game. Never played Doki Doki Literature Club? Go try it out. This game, I will get into soon enough. Dolman. Got on Black Friday, still need to play it, but once I'm done with that game, I'll get into this.
Soon enough. Next up, we got Dying Light 2 Stay Human. Was excited to see this come out on PS5. I had to wait until I got PlayStation 5 to play Dying Light 2. So, so I started parkouring and, well, destroying zombies on PS5. I just couldn't put the controller down when I was playing this. So, excellent. And we got the Game of the Year, Elden Ring, which is not my Game of the Year at all. It's a good game, but not my Game of the Year. Excellent. Uh, let's say graphics to this game. The bosses are always going to be hard. It's a Dark Souls type game. Open world is amazing. Huge world. So there is so much to explore. And I ain't saying how many hours I put in this game. Nope. Ain't saying nothing. This game disappointed me by what was excited I by day one. It was Evil Dead the game. Still looking for more friends to play Evil Dead the game, but not a lot of people are interested to play it. So it's still a great game, just needs a lot more people on there to play the game. This one is a great game evil west there's mixed reviews but i enjoyed this game big time it brings you a classic western shooter era like the red dead revolver game brings you to that type but better graphics and i love the characters love the enemies it took me a while to be them but excellent game right here Get a nurse deck. It's getting a little hot in here. Whew. Yep. Turn you down a bit. I ain't gonna have that in the video. Hopefully y'all don't hear that. We got Final Fantasy 7 Integrate. I play Final Fantasy 7 after I beat Integrate. Uh, so how you get a DLC out of the way? I can play Final Fantasy 7 a lot, and on PS5, everything about when it becomes day, night, or you're in a boss fight, it's just absolutely insane. There's no words to describe it, or in gorgeous graphics with this game. On PS4, it was amazing, but PS5 knocks out of the park. And the game that is on the screen. Final Fantasy, uh, I almost said 7, Final Fantasy Christ Core Reunion, which is like a remake slash remaster. I just can't wait to get into it, and I put it in, just gotta get into playing it, but it's definitely neat with the Final Fantasy 7 era. So, can't wait to play this once I get time. And that's supposed to be for before Final Fantasy VII. Let's fix it. There we go. Then we got Strangers of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins. I really enjoy Strangers of Paradise. Gotta play the DLC. So, still got that in mind. But I beat the game. Just gotta beat the DLC. But I gotta buy the season pass. But I'll get back into it once I beat the rest of it. Next up, we got Forge and Shadow Torch. I finally got this, set those down in my collection. Then I want to play this awesome steelbook right here. So you mostly play as a rabbit with uh, this on his back. Uh, it's like almost a side scroller three type game, but even if it's a side scroll game, there's no load speeds. Characters are great, and the mechanics are absolutely amazing. So, if you haven't played this, try it out. Well, I play it on PS5. I don't know how it is on PS4, but 
We'll see. Next up, I still need to play this game. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Still have not played this game just yet. I've been having it for a while. I just need to have time to play it. But there's so many other games, it's hard to catch up on lost. But I'll play it soon. I promise. Or not. We got Phobia St. Dafina Hotel. A horror game that I got for 10 bucks. Black Fry. I was interested by how the story is, and I love the horror survival games. I love any horror game that I could just play on there, and <laughs> I could just play it and get a little jump scares into it. But yep, I have not played this yet. I won't need to. Next up, we got the Forgotten City. I talked about this in my... Uh, 2022 recap video so you'll see which ending I got for 2022 and you'll see I really enjoyed this game with all the different endings it has and I just got this because it was like five dollars Fortnite Minty Legends pack it was like two dollars so I just had to get it since I just need a Fortnite copy in the collection. Now I do have Fortnite right there. So yep. Yeah. I've been playing a lot of the new season. Still great. So let's grab the last bottom right here. Next up we got Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. I have been the DLC on this. I just, I'm just amazed how the graphics could get a lot better in PS4 to PS5 with the director's cut. It's just absolutely amazing with this. Just any game on PS5, from PS4 to PS5, if you play it on PS4 and you play on PS5, and you play on performance mode, you'll just be blown out of your mind of how well it looks. I'm sad to say I have not played this game. Been trying to keep up with a lot of these games. It's kind of hard to do. Ghost Wire Tokyo. Still need to get into this, but there's so many other games. I just got when it's on sale, I'll buy it and I'll play it later. Next game, we got Godfall, which I have played this game, played all the DLC, and I really, I still enjoy this game to this day. Why well, mixed reviews, but I really like, really like that game. Next up, we got God of War Ragnarok. My game of the year of 2022 of all time. All time. Nobody can convince me otherwise. God of War Ragnarok is my 2022 game of the year of all time. Love the story. Still got to get a platinum trophy. I'm still hunting down the Odin's Ravens. That's how I can get the full platinum trophy. That's so I could keep up with the thing. Uh, you'll see when you watch the video. We got Gotham Knights. Still gotta play this. The character I'll be playing at is Red Hood. That's my favorite character out of these four. Nightwing is my buddy's favorite character, Blue Brandon. So I play Red Hood. I always like Red Hood. That man is my favorite as well. But Red Hood is my guy. Next up, we got Haven. Uh, another one to run release. Got physical when it was on eBay for cheap. Had to play this game, and I really enjoyed it. Gave me that old school Final Fantasy X type vibes. Next up, we got Horizon for Ben West. This. how they continue the story I can't wait for the DLC to come out just absolutely amazing story graphics just the whole world just so detailed and the machines that you face it's just mind-blowing but 
Dirt is the PS4, but the PS5 nails it with everything. Next up, we got In Sound Mine, another horror game that I have not played yet. I'm a little bit behind on games, I know, but I'll still get into that soon enough. We got Coil Kale, or how you pronounce it, its name, the Kangaroo. I I bought this on Moment to Run as well because it gave me like the Sparrow. Crash Bandicoot type vibes with it, so I just had to try it out and uh, played it, and it was really good. I was very surprised of how good it was. So, that's that, and I don't care what anybody says, I bought this day one, last of us part one, graphics, I'm going to say it every game. The graphics are literally insane of how it was compared to the remaster, still excellent graphics to this day. The remake, it just bumped it up a little bit of notches, changed a little bit of character models, but made Joel a little bit older, which is a great detail. But the clickers in this game, really detailed and really, a little bit more scarier than anything else. Next up, so we got Made of Scare, probably my favorite indie horror game right now. And it is a limited run, limited run release, number two. By look at enemies that you face. That is creepy. They have no facial expressions at all. None of them. So it's a little bit creepier. My number one creepiest game of all time. Martha is dead. The most creepiest one. Just, I'm not gonna keep repeating myself. It's just, it just creeps me out every time. And we got Manifold Garden, uh, the second version of the cover. I couldn't get the first version, so I decided to get this one on Best Buy. So, I just can't get over the disc. I look how colorful it is. I love this game to this day. So we got the first stack. Let's move on. Let's change the background a little bit. There we go. The second stack. Let's get a big stack right here. Here we go with Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. With the Marvel Spider-Man Remaster. I'm not a big fan of the remaster, so I gave the code to my buddy of mine, so you can play it. But Miles Morales, excellent story, excellent gameplay. His abilities are outstanding. I love how they gave him different costumes like the other Spider-Man game. So I can't wait to see what's next for Miles Morales and Marvel Spider-Man 2. Really can't wait for that one this year. Weird to say this year when I kept saying next year for it. We got Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Edition. Still looks the same as it does on PS4. Probably a little bit better, like load time. Uh, five mechanics are still the same. Probably just update graphics. But I still like the Mortal Kombat games. Even though it's the same mechanics. Next up, we got. Necromunda Higher Gun. Still gotta play this game. It's like a Warhammer type style game. But I have not beat this game just yet. I'm working on it. Just gotta play it a lot more. Next up, we got Outriders PS5 edition. Well, day one edition, but I played this on Xbox. Digital, but I had to get a PS5 release. It was like very cheap, so I just had to buy it and really actually enjoy it until I had to wait until all the updates and stuff. So I played it, and when it was all fixed, me and my buddy played it, which is Blue Entertainment. Go check out his channel, and he does have a full playlist 
uh, the full game on there, and we still gotta play World Flare soon. When that physical copy goes cheap on PS5, I'll buy it for the collection. Next up, we got Oxidai Room 104. This is probably the most creepiest tile. Like, look at that. Very creepy. Still gotta play this. It's a neuro horror game that I still need to play. Yep. All games I need to catch up on. This one, I have not played. The Pathless. I, I really want to play this soon. There are so many other games ahead. But once I do play it, I'm absolutely going to enjoy it. So, can't go wrong with The Pathless. Another game. The Quarry. Sam Mac. I watched my buddy Blooper Entertainment play this and I saw his decision so I'm going to make the opposite decisions and see if I get a good ending, bad ending, or just someone survives ending. Something. So we'll play that. Ratchet and Clank Ripped Apart. Enjoy this game so much. It actually shows so much Unreal Engine 5 with this game, going through the portals, everything. So it's just probably the best Ratchet and Clank game for PS5. Well, it's the only, but I'm still saying. The best Ratchet and Clank game I've played. But the other ones are still absolutely amazing. But that one, the graphics, is crazy. Why are you out of here, Case? Next up, we got Resident Village Gold Edition. Had to get PS5 version of Village. I had to wait until the Gold Edition. I have Resident Village on PS4. I got the Gold Edition on PS5. So, I really enjoy Resident Village. Can't wait for Resident 4 Remake Village. Still gotta play the DLC, Shadows of Rose. But I beat this... Just village on uh, PS5 and still can't believe how well it looks on PS5 compared to PS4. And next up, we got Returnal. I was still surprised how close I was to finish this, and I still went back and beat the game. And, uh, yeah, so I could get this off the list of games I need to complete. So, yep, Returnal. Happy I have finally beat this after multiple tries. So, I ain't going back to it anymore. Let's keep on going. We got River City Girls. Uh, missed out on pre order and Best Buy put it up. So, I had to go for it. Still missing Versi Girls Zero. I got the pre order of two, so I still gotta wait for that to come in. But play that when it was on PS4 for free one time, then I never went back to it and play on PS5. Still looks the same, but the old speed is insane. We got this game, Sad Boy Big Adventure. This was the uh, last uh, launch I was missing. I still have not played a Sad Boy Big Adventure. Still have not played it yet. Oh, we're getting to this series now. Just go ahead and set these down. Well, got four out of the five of the set. Still went on the last one. Well, the first one. And that is the Shantae games. Let's go through them. We got Risky's Revenge. There we go. Then we got Shantae and the Pirate Curse. This took me a while to find on Best Buy. And we got Shantae Half Genie Hero Ultimate Edition. Probably the best version with all DLC. And the final one. Is Shantae and the Seven Sirens. I want to run. Still got to get the last one. That will arrive soon. And you'll see that probably the next update. 
which will be a while from now. And so we got Snapper Ghost War Contracts 2. Really enjoyed the first one, so the second one, I knew I was going to love the game. And how the story was, still the same as the first one. Next up, we got Snapper League 5. One of the most hardest Snapper League games of all time. But it had to get a challenge. It's in France, so it had to be the most challenging one of all time. But I enjoyed the Snapper League games, so i wondering, are you going to do a Snapper League 6? Are you going to keep going with the series? I don't know, but I love how this game is. And, guys, for cheap, I still need to play it, Sonic Frontiers. Still need to play this game. I have a lot of mixed reviews, but I'm going to see for myself of how it is. Let's keep on going. Next up, uh, we got Soul Hacker 2. Still got to play it. But, uh, I'll do a review on it once I beat it. Steel Rising, got halfway into it, took a little break, I was stuck on a part, so I'll get back into it once I beat Christ's Core on PS5, I'll get right back into this. <laughs> this, I was actually impressed. This is their first game, and they blew out of the water with Stray. This is the I Am 8-Bit version. Which comes. No! The disc! It fell out! No! Quit back in. Comes with the poster and a lot of stuff with it. So, I really enjoy Stray. Even though it's a surprisingly good cat game. Very well graphic with the world you, you're traveling in. Just very. Crazy to say that it was their first game. So I can't believe that. Next up, we got Subnautica Below Zero, which brings you into a whole new area. Still the same creatures. There's some new ones, some ones you already know, but still crazy. I never like going to war to meet this guy. Never want to meet that guy ever again. That creature scares me to this day going to war. But you're in a frozen area, so you gotta survive the cold while surviving against the creatures. Don't like doing that a lot. Super semi roll. Literally saw this. I was interested straight away. And it looks like a little dinosaur, so. I just had to try out for a moment to run. Just, I just had to try it out. Still, got this from Play Asia early. And Sword and Fairy together forever. Still have not played this yet. But I need to catch up on all these. My favorite Tales game of all time, probably the one that got me into the series. Tales of Arise for PS5. Just a story, characters, animation, everything about outstanding. So I can't wait for more Tales games on PS4, PS5, wherever I'm playing them. So you gotta find the rest of the Tales games, but I'm getting close to finding them. Still, Dimesia, sad. It's a short uh, type of Souls like game. Still have not played it. I'm so mad I have not played it yet. This one I have played with multiplayer. It does come with other stuff with it. But uh, Rainbow Six Extraction. Yeah. You have to be stealthy in this game, and uh, <laughs> I'm just, uh, I try to be stealthy, but when Amy sees me, it's all guns blazing on this. I just go 
all just survival mode in that game. And yes, you see your PS5 in the background, you see my God of War Ragnarok. I did unboxings for both. I got my controller in the background, the God of War controller. So if y'all have not seen those videos, they're both of my channel. The PS5, unboxing my God of War Ragnarok. Jotnir edition. Both those on the channel. Might as well tell you so y'all can see that and y'all see a hammer in the background. So next up we got Tormented Souls. Have not played this. Finally got it when it was on sale. Been wanting to play it for the longest. So now I got it. And still have not uploaded it onto my console. But I'll play all these before any of these new games, which will probably be a longer backlog. So many new games this year. But let's keep going. We got Trek to Yomi. Enjoy the samurai version, even though it had very high color. The black and white just gave it that classic vibe with it, and it was probably a really good indie title as well. So. Can't go wrong with this. Let's keep on going. We got Uncharted Let's See a Thieves Collection. PS4, outstanding. Then PS5 with performance mode. Made these games more realistic, like a movie realistic. So, it, I'm a big Uncharted fan, so I, once they announced this, I just had to buy it. I love Uncharted so much. I'm hoping they keep on going with Uncharted games. But if it doesn't, but the less he still goes of the series. Let's keep on going. We got the last two games, which is Factory Elysium. Still gotta play this one as well. Her is outstanding. So we'll play that soon enough. And the final one is WWE. 2K22, which I can't wait to go through the story mode and go through the legacy of Rey Mysterio. An absolute amazing legacy. And I can't wait to create my character on WA2K22. Sadly, I can't make my own finisher. <sighs> but still can't wait to create my character on here. And. Yep. Still have to play the story. I haven't even uploaded it on my console yet. That's how far behind I am. Whew, that is a lot of games for right now. And uh, I will have a total in the description, or I'll probably put one of these corners here of how many games I could just put anywhere in the video. Of how many games I have officially in it's probably in the 50s by now. It's a lot of games for right now, so that is my 2023 update. I'm just wondering how my collection is going to be in 2024. Only got two stacks. Uh oh. But. Hope y'all enjoyed this collection up there on my PS5. I will be doing this yearly. You'll see a lot of hauls of like all PS5 games, PS4, all of those. So like different haul videos. So you'll see like updates a little bit. Then you'll see a complete update next year in 2024. So yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Tell me which one is your most anticipated game for this year. Mine, there's a lot of games I'm really excited for. So, can't wait to actually talk about those games when it comes around. And I will do reviews on them once I actually get to them and play them. But it's going to be a little bit tricky this year than it was last year. So, tell me that in a comment below. And this is your first time 
watching this video on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get notified when I put any video on this channel for y'all to enjoy. I will have haul videos, collection updates, um, literally like anything like do with Transformers, video games, uh, Beyblades, Pop Vinyls, AEW, like any of those, I will be doing videos on all of those and y'all will see a video in February that I will be doing about my Pop Vinyls soon. So stay tuned for that one and did I say, oh that's right, make sure you leave a like on the video. So that's it, that's my collection update of 2023 on my PS5. So let's see how many games I'll have at the end of this year to 2024. So stay tuned for main reviews, like game reviews of games that I've completed or this year's games that are coming out. So stay tuned for that one and keep on 9000 Collection Nation. Peace.